We got a 1993 Chevy Lumina. It's a bad head, but I want to know if it's on the front or the back just because one's easier than the other. So we're going to run a simple compression test. Starts by removing your spark plugs. We're getting there. You firmly grasp your boot and pull it off. Give it a little twisty before you do. And then remove the spark plugs. I'm going to have to remove the wishbone mounts so I can pull the motor forward to access these fun fellas and I'll catch up because in all seriousness there's nothing fun watching someone take off spark plugs alright so keep in mind after you remove these mounts first make sure you get them out the way so you ain't fighting yourself now you can only go so far before Condenser, AC piece, that one down there, silver, hits the fan. I just use the strap to my Jeep. I remember, you're not, you're not getting comfortable back here. You just got to fit your hand in there. You can see them right down there. Now we have to pull those ones too. I'm on like minute 30, so it ain't quick. It's not too hard. You have a map sensor that's really in your way and it's really fragile. You're going to want to grab this clip and pull up. And then there's a little insert right behind there. You just lift up and it goes out. And it really opens it up down there. You got a vacuum line and a little electrical line on that. And then that's it removed and out your way. All of these rear ones were cooked on to the point that pushed out of the grommet is verify it's broke and make sure you replace those in the process otherwise you're not going to be able to slip your wrench on to get it now this first one i had to use one extension and we're closest underneath the alternator the middle one i used two and it looks like i'll be able to use two on the last one also Compression tester time. That sucked. That 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 sucked. Those back ones are horrible. Um, just grab your pressure tester, and then that line will screw directly into it. The one that hooks directly up to the tester, and you're gonna thread that right into the spark plug holes where you got them from. I'm gonna do the back first. I'm gonna do the front first in case I ended up threat cross threading this for some dumb reason. Now that that's threaded securely. And that's clamped onto there. Make sure the line's empty. And you're going to crank the engine eight times. And then come out and read your gauge. Let me see. Alright, we'll see if that stays, huh? I guess that was 10. Can you still see it? Yeah. <laughs> that one's fried. Yeah, I got about three. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I already knew I had a bond head gasket because the oil was milky. But three? Okay, let me see the next one. The middle of the front, I haven't familiarized myself with the cylinder numbers yet. was sad there's <laughs> okay we'll move on to the next one
front left cylinder. Come on, let's get another three. We got this. Ooh, 60 still not good enough for anything. All right, let's test the back. And he's gonna stay. I got 140 on the back right. I guarantee this back bank will be above 100. That's why it still ran. Ran. Also be careful because if you touch the live wire on the alternator, you're going to get a little zappy. Like I accidentally did. There's the back middle sitting at 130-ish. And the back head has to come off to 60 pounds of pressure. We've learned we get to do another video on rebuilding the heads. Fun stuff.